I'm Amy Kelly with Tooele TV, and today we're located at the Old Grantsville Church out in Grantsville, Utah, obviously. I'm joined with the owners of this, I guess it's an ongoing project, would you say? This is Kelly Womberg. How are you, Kelly? I'm doing fine, thank you. Wonderful. And his lovely wife, McKay. Hi. I love you guys. You're awesome. You've done such a fun thing in bringing live theater to the community, something that we, I don't think, have out here, would you say, other than high school plays. Yeah, it's been several, they used to have the Ivy Garden, and um, it's been eight years, I think. Ten, ten or eleven years now. Since it closed, and so um, it, we were surprised at the response we had for our first play. We actually sold out three of the four nights, and so we took that as a good omen. I would say it is a good omen, and from what I've understood, this has been a lifelong dream, or at least one for you as well? Yes. Um, Kelly has always wanted to live in an old building, especially in an old church, and when this <laughs> came on the market, it was just kind of something that was just a fulfillment of a dream. And I had a children's theater group already, and I needed a place to be permanent and um, and have space. And uh, it was just something that kind of fulfilled all of our needs. Well, I think it's amazing. The two of you are married, and you act in a lot of these performances, correct? Kind of by default, <laughs> since we can't get enough guys to audition for this, so it would be nice to get more. So so. There's a good advertisement. So how does someone go about getting involved in your theater group here if they're interested in, in, in performing? Um, we post posters uh, all over town, and we also have a Facebook page and uh, a website, and we um, post all the information on there and, you know, say, come to our house and play, <laughs> you know. Well, this is wonderful. You said earlier off camera that there's a bit of a time commitment involved when you want to get in, into one of your plays. How long is that roughly? Well, for the most part, we have so far done straight plays, which means non-musical plays. And um, about a month and a half is about what we usually have for our rehearsal run. So if somebody wants to audition, they need to be prepared to pretty much give up about six evenings of their week, maybe five or six evenings of their week uh, for about a month and a half. So, I mean, there's something in there. Mm -hmm. And yes. I'm talking, I'm impressed because I knew a gal who was actually a mother of several children and I was amazed she could make the time to do it. But this is a fun thing for so many people. Do you draw mainly from just the Grantsville community or outside of Grantsville? We have um, people from Tooele. We've had Stansbury, just all around in the valley. Oh, so. wonderful. So it's definitely coming together as a community. Mm -hmm. What's something that's kind of surprised you as, as far as taking on a responsibility like this that, that you could share with us? It's just a story that's kind of quirky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, quirky, I'm not sure about. I mean, I mean I, I'm being amazed at, at the response we've had from the community. There's been so many people show up, and, and um, we've had a lot of people just, you know, thank us for, for doing this in the community and, and bringing the talent out. And um, it, it's been really... Um, nice that way to have to see the appreciation from the from the people i i noticed you said something earlier as well that every lds prophet how how many have spoken here um, in this building uh, every lds prophet from brigham young to david o mckay spoke in this chapel while it was still wow. an lds church pretty fascinating and i love history so this is fun and it's filled with a lot of it as far as the other events that you offer here, it's not just plays. I understand you do no. quite a few things. Tell mm -hmm. us some more about that. Yes, we rent the chapel and the public areas out for uh, weddings, receptions, family parties, business meetings, um, baby showers, just lots of things. We've had uh, missionary farewells, missionary homecoming, dinners here for people that don't feel like they have the space in their home. And um, so just... Lots of different things. Well, the, we've kind of had a partnership going with the Friends of the Clark Farm also so that sometimes when they've needed an area for uh, an indoor event so that they didn't have to depend on the weather, right. then they could have it here. So we've had a fiddler's competition. We've had some other, some other things here that were related and, and tied into them. And again, if somebody wanted to book you for something else other than a show, they just find out about you how? Um, they can look on our Facebook page, which is Facebook, the Old Grantsville Church. They can go to oldgrantsvillechurch.com online um, or call us. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Tell me some things you have coming up as far as some fun, fun offerings for the community. Well, obviously, we're sitting on our stage right now, and we're going to be doing um, You Can't Take It With You. And it actually opens in two days on Thursday, um, the 19th. 
Um, we have, as far as for the community, there's that. And we have um, we have a couple of weddings lined up here pretty soon, and um, some family parties that are coming up. But um, we actually we're kind of trying to figure out what to do because we realized this a little while ago that next year will be the sesquicentennial for the building of this chapel, oh and we wanted to do something like an open house for the community and maybe get some you know have people bring us their their stories um, and their memoirs about the chapel and, and, and things that they've done here and any old photos and stuff and then it's put together, uh, together a book for people to, to look at and reminisce over. We, we just haven't quite figured out the the exactness, you know, dates and everything. That's what we're kind of looking forward in the coming year, at least. And then we have a, you know, plays coming up throughout the year as well. Wonderful. Well, obviously, you've done a lot to bring this community together. You've got wonderful actors and actresses that are a part of your, your program here, and it's like a little family. So um, I'm excited to see some of your performances and things you have offered for the community. And I want to say, on behalf of Tooele County, thank you. Thank you for keeping this from a garage of for motorcycles. Okay. Thank you, too. <laughs> Thank you yeah. for keeping the arts alive. And if you're interested in finding out more information, look below. We'll have a link to their website. And in the meantime, thanks for watching Tooele TV. I'm Amy Kelly.